Hey everyone, so before the video starts, I want to take a brief moment to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Mindman Club. Mindman Club is working on their own client, which is called Club Client, and they're going to be showing off the launcher for that when their Discord hits 2k members, so make sure to join that if you're interested. There's going to be a reward system where you can unlock certain stuff depending on how many invites that you have. Details are going to be in the description below, but with that being said, let's get straight into the video. What's up guys, it's Intel here. So one of the most common questions that I get on my channel is, what mouse do I recommend for a certain budget? or certain price ranges. So for example, I get people asking me questions like, Intel, what's the best mouse for jitter clicking that's below $50? Or Intel, what are some good mice to butterfly click? Or what mouse should I drag click with? This video is going to be a gaming mouse buyer's guide, and I'm going to separate it into three different sections. So starting with your budget gaming mice, then your mid-end, and then your high-end gaming mice. And then within that, I'm going to be talking about which are the top recommendations for jitter clicking, butterfly clicking, and drag clicking. I want to say in no way is this like a comprehensive review of all of these mice, it's more of just a video to point you in the right direction if you don't know a lot about gaming mice. I highly encourage that you do your own research on the mice that you're interested in so you know exactly what you're buying. I've also made some reviews for some of the mice that I've mentioned in this video, so if you're interested in that, I'll leave my mouse review playlist in the description. Anyways, with all that being said, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so starting with the low end, and by low end, I mean around or under $30, give or take. And I want to say right off the bat that instead of getting a new mouse from one of those budget gaming brands, it is so much more worthwhile to get either an older gen mouse from an actual known gaming brand like Logitech or Razer, or to get a used mouse, because trust me, it's worth it so much more. That being said, first mouse that I want to cover is the Razer Death Adder Essential, which right now is going for $30 on Amazon. The Death Adder Essential is pretty much the same thing as the 2013 Death Adder, which if you didn't know was like the main mouse for butterfly clicking back in the day, like the Kohi days. A lot of people People used to use this mouse back in like the Kohi days. Uh, it's a really good mouse for jitter and butterfly clicking. The switches on it are so light, it is one of the easiest mouse that I've clicked. The shape is really big though, so I recommend this mostly if you have large hands, but other than that, for $30 it's a really really great deal. Next up we have three different Logitech mice, the Logitech G203, the G402, and the G502. So all of these sort of range in prices, but you can generally find them around $30 used or refurbished. The G203 uses the same shell as the G Pro Hero, and like the G Pro Hero, you can butterfly click on it and jitter click on it pretty well. The classic G502 is a really good mouse for jitter clicking. A lot of people used to use it way back in the day, like Marcel, Swampy, etc. I will say two things about it though. First of all, the left click is very narrow, so it, you can butterfly click on it, although it's not very comfortable compared to something like the G203 or the Death Adder Essential. And it weighs a lot, which not a lot of people like. Personally, I don't think weight matters all that much for Minecraft in particular, but it's, it's personal preference. And then the G402 is an older discontinued mouse from Logitech, but it has a pretty similar shape to the G502, and you can find this one new off of Amazon for around $30 I believe. And then the last mouse that I want to cover is the Red Dragon M711, which Misdemeanors uses for drag clicking, so it's a pretty notorious mouse for drag clicking, and it's only like $22. Moving on to the mid-range mice, which are around $40 to $70. So for like 90% of people, you're probably going to find a mouse that you like from either Logitech, Razer, or Glorious. Those are pretty much the main three brands within the PvP community. Razer and Logitech have a lot of good mid-range mice, except for the Razer Naga. Don't get that mouse for PvP. As I was saying, they have a lot of really good mid-range mice, so it really just depends on what shape looks nice to you. A few of the more notable ones are starting with the Razer Viper Mini, which is $40, so it's the cheapest mid-range mouse. I've actually made a whole video on the Viper Mini if you want to watch it, but it's a really great shape. It has really, really good build quality. Best build quality I've seen on a mouse, actually. I should mention, though, that with all of the newer Razer mice, they use these optical switches, and they don't double-click at all, so you can really only use them for normal clicking and jitter clicking. I recommend the Viper Mini to people who have medium to small size hands, but if that's too small for you, they have the regular Viper at $70, and it's basically just a bigger version of the Viper Mini mini with a few extra features. Moving on to Logitech, there's the G Pro Hero, which is probably the most popular mouse in the PvP community. You can buy it new for $60, it's a really nice small shape, and you can jitter and butterfly click on this mouse really really well. I know a lot of people who butterfly and jitter with this mouse who will swear by it, and it's a really great mouse, I've tried it before, it's excellent. There's also the G502 Hero, which I wouldn't really recommend over the G Pro Hero, it's bigger and it's heavier and the left click is more narrow, but if you like bigger, heavier mice, 
nice, then you'll probably like it. And then moving on to Glorious, and their main mouse is the Model O. The Model O is probably the best mouse for butterfly clicking, and that's because they have a debounce setting in their software. If you turn the debounce slider all the way to the left, then the mouse will double click really easily, and it's a really easy mouse to get like 20 CPS with. So there's also the Model O minus, which is the same thing as the Model O, but a little smaller. And then there's the Model D, which is just an ergonomic version of the Model O. Um, they're all pretty much the same thing, just in different shells, so just choose what looks nice for you. And then finally, for drag clicking, you have the Rokat Cone series. There's a lot of different Rokat Cone series mice. I know Bedless Noob uses the Rokat Cone XTD. I think you can drag click on all of them, correct me if I'm wrong, but in the mid-range, the Rokat Cone is probably the safest bet for drag clicking. All right, so now we have your high-end gaming mice, and this is where you have all of your wireless gaming mice, and these are gonna range you from uh, probably $100 and over. First recommendation, and this is the mouse that I use personally, is the Logitech G Pro Wireless, and I love this thing. It's a really, really really great mouse. It has a really safe shape, it's really easy to click, it has a really nice weight to it too, it's really really nice. For butterfly clicking, I've heard mixed things about it. Personally, I can't get it to double click, and I know other people like Swampy can't get it to double click either, but I know some people who can butterfly click on this really well, so it's sort of mixed. For everything else though, this mouse is really nice to use, and it's really comfortable. It's a top recommendation for me. And then the other high-end wireless mouse that you can get is the Viper Ultimate, and I also have this, I'd put it on the same tier as the Logitech G Pro Wireless. Because of the optical switches, it doesn't double click at all, so forget butterfly clicking, but for everything else, it's it's excellent. It really depends on what shape looks comfortable to you, but I personally love using both of them. They're both really nice mice. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have some input on certain mice you'd recommend, or you just want to point out some things about some mice that I didn't point out, then please leave a comment so other people can get the message. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. The support really does mean the world to me, so I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.